you've identified uh, earlier that one good starting point is to identify your market. Is it better for working with the government to identify your market more narrowly or more broadly? I, I think broadly, because until you get into the government, you're not exactly sure what markets are available, in my opinion. You don't want to go after something like for me. I'm a consultant. I'm, I consider myself fairly strong in government business practices. So I'm pursuing work in government business where I can help that. If I was to go after an engineering task or even anything that, let's say, uh, all of a sudden I was going to go into Nebraska and do state contracting in Nebraska, I don't understand that at all. Mm -hmm. That would be a market I would not want to pursue. But for So you'd want to make sure it's a market where you feel you have the expertise and when you're going to put the money into preparing a proposal, the people on the other end are going to read it and realize you have the expertise. The bottom line is know the industry and know the business yes. before you right, yes. make that first yes. step. And there's, there's so many different websites that will help you with understanding where the requests for proposals are available or different sites that will help you know what kind of the markets are out there to kind of lead you along those lines. Okay. So. Uh